When we tore it open, we realized it's been leaking since day one. Yeah, just throw it down, it's good. What happens on these is they did not know how to flash this across here. They put a flashing on, but they didn't get it underneath the paper. Stucco is not a waterproof. No, it's not. Stucco is a, is a rain screen. Yeah. Okay, so they we're sending water right behind it, and then the worst part of it got there. You can see the dark here, and then it created a leak over here. And so, you know, we see this kind of stuff all the time in Austin and uh, people don't know what they're doing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Exteriors by Gary Willock. Today we're gonna to be working on this project behind me above the garage you see a deck railing and there's actually a deck there now unfortunately it's a wood deck uh, there's been runners on it and beneath there is a modified bitumen leaking roof I no longer really want to do modified it's just too difficult to stick that product together it just does not adhere well and i know if you are in a controlled atmosphere and you go by the manufacturer specifications it does pretty well but let's face it we're always on a job site not so easy to do so i go to products that are manufactured better we're going to be installing a once it all comes off we're going to inspect the decking and we're going to make sure that it has some pitch to get that water off once we do that and the decking is in good shape, we're going to install a fully adhered PVC, not TPO, but PVC deck, an 80 mil PVC deck. That is our preference, that is our preferred under deck because I feel like it's gonna be the longest lasting product that you can get currently to install. It's a single ply product and we're gonna do fully adhered now to do that we're also going to do let me explain now fully adhered just means it's glued to the surface it is adhered to the surface now i really like that because if something happens a tile breaks something gets through pokes a hole in that wherever it leaks inside that's where the leak will be outside unlike the mechanically fastened that all the installers love so well i do not because it's totally loose on the deck and it gets on a four by eight sheet of decking the water runs and you don't know where that water is going to come in where it's glued down it doesn't run it really is an advantage not a huge advantage you don't want leaks at all that's why we go with the 80 mil now you also notice on this wall that there is stucco on the wall uh, a door on the wall with stucco in that area the stucco has to be torn out to get a proper flashing. Then that stucco has to be redone, of course, and painted to match the house. This is the prep work, and you've heard me talk about this before. You've got to do these right. You do not want to invest a ton of money into getting a beautiful deck up there and that thing going wrong in two or three years. You know, usually the five-year mark is the test of most of them, and most do not make it that far. So we want to make sure we get it right. Starting out with making sure the decking is good, that the decking has enough slope on it to get the water off. We don't need much, but we need a little bit. We're not going to be installing wood flat down on it anymore, and I, that's always an advantage. We're going to be installing pedestals. It's going to be a pedestal system with a um, porcelain, fine china if you would, porcelain tile. It's actually going to be a tile that looks like wood. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to show you more of that a little bit later. But as we get started today, um, I'm going to have a few pictures of the guys, what they're going to be tearing out, what they tear out, how that looks after it's torn out, and what's going on with the deck itself before we make any judgment on modifications for shimming it, making it pitch better, replacing decking, and or any other problems that we find. The other thing that we got to look for is that they use standard uh, industry specifications for example uh, international building code requires certain rafters to span the distance we've got to confirm that that's correct because the porcelain is heavy and it is not so heavy that it cannot go on a standard construction but you've got to make sure that somebody didn't take a shortcut back when this was built so we're going to be back with you on this project 
few times, give you more information, show you a few more videos of the work in progress. When we tore it open, we realized it's been leaking since day one. Yeah, just throw it down, it's good. And so um, what happens is, oh man, I guess stuff going there. What happens on these is they did not know how to flash this across here. They put a flashing on, but they didn't get it underneath the paper. Stucco is not a waterproof. No, it's not. Stucco is a, is a rain screen. Yeah. Okay, so they we're sending water right behind it, and then the worst part of it got there. You can see the dark here, and then it created a leak over here. And so, you know, we see this kind of stuff all the time in Austin, and uh, people don't know what they're doing. So this is where one property joins the other property. To deal with this, we're gonna install a small parapet wall, just three inches high, so we can have something to go to from both sides. That way, whoever needs to deal with it next can go there. Um, that means there's gonna be a little parapet wall showing right here at this end. Not a problem. Uh, this is interesting, they've got the old drip edge on here, then they got that junky drip edge on there. Um, man, I tell you, people just need to prepare better before you start just trying to cover up. This has obviously been leaking for a while with the wet spots that were on it. Uh, here's where the guys have cut the stucco so we can get a good flashing in this time. You saw the problems that we had earlier that they had with the um, poor flashing too small, too difficult to get under. Why so many ray roofs leak? You know, this is a very obvious problem. The roof membrane, this flashing number one is not really big enough. Uh, if you're gonna use a small flashing like that, you better use an L flashing that you adhere your membrane to at the base and let that L flashing go all the way up. Here they've got the roof membrane only goes to right there. So water splashing, water dripping, water can get behind it on that area. And this is on a flat roof deck area. And uh, we see this all the time. And now this is leaking and he's got ruined drywall inside. Fortunately, this is the garage. So nothing really damaged other than a lot of drywall work, a couple of thousand dollars to repair. This has obviously been leaking for a while with the wet spots that were on it. Uh, here's where the guys have cut the stucco so we can get a good flashing in this time. You saw the problems that we had earlier that they had with the um, poor flashing. Too small, too difficult to get under.